Okay, YouTube, what's going on? So, following up on the last video where we did uh, WordPress security testing for a Grim the Ripper vulnerable hub, now we are still with this machine over here, as you can see. And now, in this challenge or in this video, we're gonna do the second phase, which is privileged escalation or Linux privileged escalation. Okay, so recently we got a limited shell using Metapreter. I'm gonna switch that to shell. I'm gonna try or let me see the uh, user. Okay, so we are www data, which is your first step into privilege escalation is knowing who you are. Okay, so you are a limited user over here. Now the second step is enumerating the system. And there are many ways to enumerate the system in order to get root access. You can search for the uh, files or the binaries that have the SCOID set, uh, bit set, as you can see, using a find command. And then we use type file permission. And we click enter, but we're not going to find anything over here because I did that. So one uh, or uh, another uh, way to uh, enumerate the system is uh, after you have searched for the files that have the, the set UID bit or run under root, you need to see the uh, sensitive files. So one of the sensitive files is etc password. Here we can see the current users. And of course, don't forget to define or to determine or to find out the version of the Linux distribution running on the machine. As you can see, it's Linux 3.13.0 and it's Ubuntu, okay? So knowing the version or the Linux or the distribution is Ubuntu, which means that I need to dig further whether this Ubuntu could have an exploit or could be vulnerable. So I can type LSP release I can see the version is 12.04 and knowing the version of the Linux distribution or the target operating system is very beneficial in order to search for an exploit for the uh, to determine if the system is vulnerable or not you're going to search for an exploit and hopefully if the system is not vulnerable to any of the up-to-date or recent exploits hopefully you can create one or create an exploit uh, now so to, to find the exploit, you're going to use a tool called Searchploit, all of you know that. And we type the operating system 12.04. All right, so we can see we have many exploits over here. Actually, you can use any, any one of them. You can use this 37292, and you can use this Linux kernel, 335. Uh, actually, I'm gonna highlight them. You can use these two guys and this guy over here. Now, to download uh, one, one exploit, you can do search exploit minus m select the exploit when you download. Let's say 37, this one over here. Once you hit enter, it's going to be downloaded. I have downloaded the exploit and rename it back to kernel exploit. Okay. Now your second step is transferring the exploit into the system. How are you going to do that, guys? The long way is starting Apache server, putting the file in the directory var, HTML. But the shortest way is to use Python uh, simple HTTP server. So you can use this command over here and you put the file that you're going to transfer to the system in the directory where you run the, where you run the Python script. So the Python script over here is run uh, in the desktop directory. So the file that, could, that will be downloaded should be put in the desktop directory. Okay, now the next step is using wget command on the target system. 
HTTP my IP address to forget the port and kernel download that and don't forget to download this in the temporary directory in the temp directory on the target system because it's the only directory where you have write access you hit enter it's going to be downloaded i'm going to show you the directory no so over here you see the exploit is over here now because it's c5 you need to compile that into an executable file gcc the name of the file which is kernel and then the output will be let's say ubuntu exploit you hit enter and the executable file will be created now the next step is running the executable file or the exploit let's run that oh. and bingo you got root access so you see guys it's all about enumeration and in this video we learned that one of the ways to escalate your privilege is to exploit a, a vulnerable system or an out-of-date Linux distribution or out-of-date version. It could be Windows, by the way. So that's it, guys. Keep your system up to date and see you.